I made a mistake this year that almost destroyed my $3,000 kayak. You need to avoid this. Stay tuned. One of the things I like to do for my winter maintenance is remove my drive unit and clean it completely underneath. Well, this year, instead of just using the socket I normally do, I decided to get fancy and get fast and use a drill with a socket bit. And that destroyed the connection holding my drive unit to the kayak. I contacted Jackson to say, hey, what did I do wrong? And basically I discovered that the bolts connecting this into the kayak are embedded in a connector that I probably stripped with the power associated with the drill. And so the, before I get into the fix, if you ever want to clean your drive unit by removing it totally or replace it, be sure you use a gentle socket with an easy motion and nothing quick and jerky like would have happened with my drill and the socket bit. The problem is the bolt just continues to turn without catching on anything underneath. That's what we've got to fix. Well, you still need this, but you can't use it right now because the first thing we have to do is stabilize whatever that little connector is that's embedded in the HDPE that has stripped loose. So the key thing you're going to need is a hairy set of vice grips and the ability to contort yourself to get underneath and deal with it from the bottom. This is tough. Okay, here's where the bolts go through. They go through, whoop, they go through these little nipples that stick down into the hull. And what you're going to have to do is take your vice grips and honk on to each one of those as tight as you can, and that will stabilize the nut that's inside. You can see I've got my vice grips onto this one closest to the opening. The, that one and the middle one are fairly easy to get to, but it really requires some grip strength. It's that one way in the back that is going to cause you some contortions. So basically, you've got to do that for each row. Boy, it really takes some contortioning to get inside this small hull, but once it's done, it's done. Now, you may find it useful to use a split ring washer if you feel like you can't really get a good grip all the way through. It might start to spin again once you get beyond a certain point. In fact, I use that split ring on this one for that very reason. Well, I tell you, that was hard. I need to do some strength exercises in my my hand to strengthen my grip because that's what this depends on. The tighter you can get the vice grips, the better the result you're going to have. Well, I think I'm pretty good. We'll see how it goes this coming season. If you hear me swearing like a sailor, even though I'm an army guy, you'll know that this didn't work and I probably broke my kayak. But before I would buy a new one, I would take a multi-tool or a, a tack saw cut off those nipples, use washers, and attach another nut as my last ditch effort. But I think this is on there pretty good. And I really thank the Jackson guys for telling me about this hack to get this stuff reattached. <sighs> Hopefully that was just a close call. Don't make my mistake. Take care. Use gentle force if you're taking this sucker out.